So after the conclusion of dialogue, we have made the, with us uh, Mr. Hanif Atmar, the Foreign Minister, Acting Foreign Minister of Afghanistan. Thank you very much for taking the time. The two obstacles, the major obstacles about uh, the jurisprudence as well as the inclusion of the Loya Jirga or the continuation of the Doha deal remain sticking points. Have you made any progress? How hopeful are you? Because I spoke to some diplomats and they say, if you look at the ha glass half full, at least nobody has walked out of the table yet. Yes, we, we are indeed hopeful that we will be able to resolve them. That's why we have engaged in a new chapter of diplomacy uh, with our regional and international partners to create conditions in which uh, these obstacles can be resolved. Um, nobody expected that these negotiations would be easy. Everybody predicted obstacles of variety. Now, we've made some good progress on most of the issues related to the rules of procedure, but there are these two pending issues, and hopefully we will find ways uh, to resolve them. By the way, the government of Afghanistan, uh, through its team, negotiating team, have actually presented a number of counter-proposals to um, find a common ground uh, for agreement. So we've seen at least four uh, of these proposals that have been presented by the negotiation team to the Taliban. Now the ball, according to the team, is in the Taliban's court, and they have to come up with something which both sides can agree on. But the Taliban continue to say that they don't even recognize the Afghan government as a legitimate government, and they see it as a party to the conflict. So how, how hopeful are you that you are going to make progress, and what is at stake here? Well, uh, for uh, um, any warring party to use that kind of language is not something new. <laughs> it should be expected. Uh, we don't recognize, we don't want to talk to them. These are the things we've heard. But the reality now is that we have face-to-face -face direct negotiation between the two sides, and this is uh, progress. Um, that we welcome. Now, we do have obstacles, and this is exactly the purpose of the negotiation to remove these obstacles. And, and finally, now that it's been nearly three weeks since this uh, uh, dialogue began, uh, talks seem to have stalled, and the only uh, sticking point seems to be the two sticking points that you mentioned. Uh, it's not moving forward, and there is no reduction in violence. Hundreds of people have been killed in Afghanistan. Uh, what makes you sure that this time around, with your help of your partners, you'd be able to tell the Taliban to reduce violence? Well, we are quite hopeful. Uh, uh, those who would insist on uh, uh, violence would be uh, extremely uh, marginalized, and they will not have... Uh, any legitimacy in any of their causes to pursue. Thank you so much. Thank I you very much, Mr. Hani uh, There you had that was the foreign minister, acting foreign minister of Afghanistan, after meeting Qatari as well as American officials, telling us that he's still hopeful that dialogue is the way forward and both sides are going to come to some sort of an agreement to reduce violence.